In the previous lectures, we understand Python built-in function and objects. We understand a different type of object in Python, just like numbers, strings, list, tuple, and dictionaries. We also understand how you can create your own user-defined function in Python. Now, let's take a look at how you can create your own object in Python. So now from this tutorial, we're going to start the advanced Python tutorials. We're going to understand how objects work in Python and how you can create different classes and create your own objects. So the first question comes in, what is object? The term object loosely means a collection of data with a set of methods. Objects are used to manipulate data. There are several reasons for using object instead of sticking with the global variables and functions. The major benefit of using object is to use polymorphism, encapsulation, and inheritance. We'll talk about that later in this course. Using object, you can make your own code reusable. Making code reusable saves you a lot of time. Class is nothing but a collection of methods that help us to manipulate data. Now, let's take a look at a very simple example to understand how to create a class and object. So I'm going to just create here a new class so to create a class, I'm going to start with a class keyword. So in Python, if you want to create a new class, you need to start with a keyword class. So I'm going to start here with the keyword class, and then you need to specify the name for the class. So here I'm going to say member. Just like you specify the name for the variable, you can specify a name for your class. So now I'm going to specify a name for this class member. And then I'm going to specify scope of this class. So I'm going to specify colon here because I'm going to put all the code inside this class. So I'm going to specify block for this class using this colon. Using indention, I'm going to put different methods in this class. So as you know, to create a function, you start with a defined keyword. The same goes for the class as well. Methods is just like a function. We use method to perform some operation in the class. So to create a method, we need to start with a defined keyword. And then you need to specify the name for your method. So I'm going to specify a name here, set name. Now you can specify any name here, that doesn't matter. Just for that, I'm going to specify here parentheses. Now when I specify parentheses, I'm automatically get this self keyword. You may wonder what this self parameter is. It refers to the object itself. So this self keyword is going to refer to this class. So using this self keyword, you can access any method or attribute of the class very easily. So that is why we have this automatic self parameter to this method. Whenever you create a method, you're going to have a self parameter as a first default parameter for your method. And then if you want to specify own parameter, you can specify here comma and then specify your own parameters. I'm going to leave it as it is. And now I'm going to specify colon here to specify block of method. And then here I'm going to just say self dot name. I'm going to create here class instance attribute name is equal to and then what I'm going to do is here to this self I'm going to pass a parameter so just out of this self I'm going to specify comma and here I'm going to pass name so when we call this set name method we need to pass this name parameter you don't need to specify value to this self parameter because self is a default parameter for your method and it is refers to the own class you need to just specify value to this name parameter and then I'm going to pass this parameter name here. So here I'm going to say name, just like this. So when I specify value to this parameter, I'm going to specify that to this name attribute. We're going to take a look at what is the difference between class attribute and instance attribute in the next lecture. But just for now, just consider this name as a property of your class. Property is just like a variable to store some values. In object-oriented programming, you have properties. Just like variables to store value you use property and to create functions you use methods once i have my variable or you can say a property i'm going to just create here another method so down here i'm going to create a new method so i'm going to start with a defined keyword with the name get name i'm going to separate this name using underscore you can notice here this is not necessary actually if you remove this underscore then this is also a valid name but i'm going to just place it for here underscore when I specify parentheses, you can see I'm going to automatically have a default self parameter. Now, just for that, here I'm not going to specify anything and just return something using this method. So this method is going to return the name attribute. So here I'm going to say self dot name. You can notice how I use this self keyword to access the attribute of the class. The self is refers to the class itself. So using this self instance, you can access this method as well. 
now just for that once i return this value i'm going to create another method here so i'm going to say here define and here i'm going to say creating just like this when i specify parenthesis i'm going to have self as a default parameter just out of that here i'm going to just print in the single code i'm going to say hey welcome to python class and just sort of this hey here i'm going to just add curly braces just like this so here i'm going to say format and i'm going to just pass self dot name we already take a look at how this formatting work in python so i'm going to just get the value of this self name variable right here in this parenthesis now you can notice we successfully created a simple class in python and we just specify the name for this class then we have different methods here using this self dot name i'm going to create instance attribute if you want to store value in the variable you will create attribute in python class so here i'm going to say self dot name there are two ways to create attributes we'll talk about that in the next lecture just for now here i'm going to use this name to store the value which the user specify when the user call this method now once i have this class let me just call it to call this class and to access all these methods and these properties you need to create an object using object you can make your code reusable so let me first explain what is object as i said earlier object is a collection of attributes and methods so you can notice in this class we have different kind of methods object is just an instance of the class using instance you can access different methods and attribute of the class so to create object in the python you need to first specify name for your object so here i'm going to create a variable foo and then i'm going to create an object and then i'm going to specify equal to sign and specify instance of this class so here i'm going to simply call member and specify parenthesis you can notice i'm calling this class as function so i'm going to specify name of the class and specify parenthesis so now we have instance of this class in this variable so you can access all the attributes and methods of this class using this instance so now once i have the instance of this class i can now access any of this method i'm going to simply call foo and to access this method you need to pass dot here and then you can access any of this method so here i'm going to call set name and as you know we have parameter to this set name so we need to pass argument to this set name method so here i'm going to pass daily just like this just for that once i set the value to this attribute as you know we have a method to get this value get name and in the print statement i'm going to say foo dot get name just like this we don't need to pass anything in this parenthesis because we did not specify any parameter here self is a default parameter to the method now when i execute this statement you can notice i'm going to have daily as a result this method is going to set the value to this attribute and i'm going to access this attribute using get name method now if i try to call this greeting method then i'm going to get this message with the value daily so if i just say here foo dot greetings when i execute this file i'm going to have hey daily welcome to python class now there is one more way you can specify value to this name attribute if you want to change this name attribute you can simply specify here foo dot name so you can notice i'm using this instance of the class to access this name attribute so i'm going to say here name is equal to tuition so i'm going to just change the value of this name attribute and then i'm going to just print it so here i'm going to say print foo dot name when i execute this statement you can notice i'm, I'm going to have tuition as a result now you're not limited to only create one object of the class you can create n number of object of the class that doesn't matter if i just create here boo is equal to member then i can access all these methods and attribute using this instance as well so if i just specify here boo dot name and i'm going to just say here boo dot name then when i execute this statement you can notice i'm going to have tuition as a result so now using this instance i'm going to specify value to this name attribute tuition so down here if i print foo dot name then i'm going to have daily as a result because using this instance we specify daily to this name attribute you can notice the magic of this self keyword you don't have to supply any value to this parameter now let me give you some simple exercise for you create a person class with two methods 
set name and get name. In the set name, specify attribute name where you can get the value from the user and then using get name, just return that value and create another method show to print the username on the terminal. In the next lecture, we're going to take a look at the difference between class variables and instance variable.